Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Good morning, Max. Good afternoon. He's and rubbing his good eyes. Evening. <laughs> good evening. Is that a song? It's from uh, The Truman Show. Good morning. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And then he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> and he like sort of does the most brilliant, bizarre, fake laugh and then pause with his giant teeth out. You know, it's so insane. Mm -hmm. And now we're living it. Yeah. How you doing? What's new? I'm good. Nothing. Same old. Did we work out today? It was either this podcast or workout, so you win. I know. Ugh. And you're okay. doing got, it seated? Got... Are you planking right now? Are you wall <laughs> seated sitting? plank. <laughs> An eight-hour seated plank a day. Who has the world record for the longest sit? I'm sure. Uh, Someone with a disability. Uh, I'm sure some handicapped people would like a word. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're like 18, 19 years. Yeah. All right. Fine. What's, what's a total longest... fitheads record we could break? What's the longest plank? It's like nine hours, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's right. insane. It's impossible. It's longer than I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to sleep, wake up the next day, and the guy is still planking. We had a guy in my high school. He was on the crew team, and he decided to row for charity but also between you and me and don't tell anyone uh i'm pretty sure it was a stunt to like get into college you know what i mean to like do some outrageous you know n n uh, altruistic but also somewhat self-serving thing you know he rode and i think when he did like eight hours others, for yeah you can't I... help helping yourself <laughs> now we're gonna get dinged but yeah, I mean, what altruistic thing isn't for you? But yeah, I think he ended up rowing like like eight hours or something. It, it was insane, like absolutely insane. And you, I guess you don't only know that if you've been on uh, an, an erg, a rowing machine, an ergometer. Because, you know, a minute and so you're then, like, well, that sucks. I'm done with that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this guy did it for a whole school day. And, I, and even as a kid, he was a senior and I was a freshman i remember just being like hi hello is he just allowed to not go to class because i could make up stuff he did it like on a friday it wasn't you know yeah. what I mean? it wasn't on a saturday yeah. and it was in the uh you know one of the gym like conference rooms or whatever uh fitness rooms or but it was it for charity like of some kind you know do i remember the charity no do i remember the rowing mm -hmm. the the time no i just remember that he rode an outrageously long you don't remember the workout. You remember how he made you feel. What? Yeah, confused. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like something performative that people would do in the world of TikTok today, day and age. And like, oh, yeah, somebody's doing some absurd thing to get attention. In that yeah. era, that would be rare. I would not expect that he's he's wackadoo. Yeah. Unique. And, you know, it worked. He, he got into having. So do you think he was sitting in the interview with Harvard being like, no, it's really hard. I imagine he rode a boat there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the interviewer was like, hi, are, are you Travis? And he's like, hop on in. We can just do it. I'll row you down the Charles, you know. <laughs> Crew is Harvard, such a bizarre. Wow. Crew is one of the most he bizarre sports there is because it's simultaneously like incredibly cool and incredibly stupid like out unbelievably stupid uh it's cool because it's it's physically extremely extremely difficult um it's also cool because to be really good uh the skill is being in sync with your other rowing people sometimes like a dance too team, perhaps well, yeah, but there, you know, there's no, it's there's no straight competition in a dance format. There's what? judging. It's not a real sport. If there's a judge, you know what I mean. 
two two rules are for you sport. anti-subjectivity sir Ab- absolutely uh two rules for a sport one you have to be able to play defense two i think that's it <laughs> so what do you want to include dodgeballs and crew i would say dodgeball is more of a sport than crew. Uh, 100 meter dash wow wow okay yeah, big time. this take. is a personal this is a personal thing that i've held for a long long time and people have always tried to poke holes in this theory that i came up with and frankly they're all wrong you know there's they're just Ooh. they're just whiny little you know whiners <laughs> wrong people so then we need another term for the type of sport it's a race. that is or it's, it's an activity. You know, that's why I'm saying like a race, like, so if you're running in two parallel lines and you never interact with the person you're racing, right? Sure. Who's to say that, um, why do you have to go at the same time? Right? You could just show up, you go, I'll time you, and then I'll go, and I'll t- I will time you. And well, why can't I bring a knife to wrestling? Because we decided. What do you mean? Why can't I bring a gun to a race? What do you what do you what are you talking about? Why can't I just bomb the planet before we even rate? Then I technically win. Like, what are all these hypotheticals? We're getting a little off well, track. Your right hypothetical there. sports exist because we arbitrarily made up the rules. A sport. Why is the basketball hoop not one inch bigger or one foot lower? That's rules of the game. That that defines how we're gonna compete with each other. That's fine. Starting together is a rule of the game. But that's not important. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if if one if if one person and also it's equal. So like if it, the, it, with your basketball hoop, uh, did you say height or, or diameter? Or I guess it doesn't both. matter. So we both have to agree on the same size basketball hoop, right? That matters. But if I had a taller hoop and you had a shorter hoop, that would change things. So in a race, we we can agree to go at the same time. But if we agreed to you go, then I go, it wouldn't change anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? It would, fair? because you even mentioned this in the CrossFit games, where there's a psychological Mentally, yes, aspect of, of running next to someone. Well, so that's a mental aspect. Someone. And so that physically, that has no, you know, that's then who's to say that the fans in the stands aren't playing part in uh, there. That's not playing defense, you know? Or if I tweet something about somebody uh, and then a week later he has to go play hockey, am I playing defense on that person? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so the world is just one. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? I it, The butterfly effect. You're completely affected by everything that is. You can't. Okay. As someone who's played a real sport. Hmm. I would say that you have to you have to physically be able to play defense. How's that? Is that is that more? Uh, it is more specific. S- specifically accurate. God, I man. Thank God. It's like it's like talking to lawyers. You know what I mean? Where you say like, okay, so today, and they're like, whoa, today? You mean <laughs> this morning? And you're like, oh, great. You're one of those people. Are you one of those people that wish for more wishes growing up? are you an idiot that didn't want more wishes <laughs> yes, of course you are. Uh, go for it earth? no by all means you're, you're absolutely right wish for more wishes That's... i'll just top out at three did you get three did you get one what are we doing here i would think of something that i actually wanted instead of trying to game the system to quote unquote win without actually doing the exercise do you think that Warren Buffett would not wish for more wishes? Is What does that have to do with anything? Is that someone I want to emulate? Is that someone I want to be like? I feel like he's the type of person that figured out the system and is now where he is. Yeah, look how happy he is. Is he? I don't know. You think... Oh, you would ask for a sandwich. You think the people <laughs> that... <laughs> Wish for more wishes. That's like, yeah, dude, obviously that's the answer. But that's not the exercise we're doing. 
You know, that's like saying like, hey, Ali, why don't you do a deadlift? And you're like, uh, I could just put it on an elevator and push the button and the elevator could lift it for me. <laughs> nice, dummy. And then you'd go home. That's 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 the argument you're making. Are you the type of kid that would ask other kids in grade school what they would wish for and call it an exercise? No, but looking back on it, that's what it was. I mean, that's the spirit of the of the of what we're doing. Yes, of course, you can figure out a way to game the system or like figure. Uh, cool, man. You thought of a smarter way to accomplish things, but that's but literally the exercise. It's like trying to come up with the thing that you actually want, not trying to figure out the answer to the puzzle, the riddle. You know what I mean? Wish for more wishes. You're one of those. Ugh, it's the worst. I can't anyway. imagine anyone else saying the opposite. The whole point of the of what I was trying to say was there there are sports, quote unquote, that are actually just races and they're parallel. Uh they're they're two people doing the same thing at the same time and see who finishes faster. Is that, yeah. a, is that well is in that okay COVID, it wasn't to how to the define time the either. race? I don't want to get like, we're really getting bogged so down. Then in the CrossFit here. isn't a sport because you're never No, not at all. What else is getting checked off or crossed off as not a sport? Crossed. <laughs> um track and field. Okay. Uh obviously figure skating. Swimming, Thank you for that and my skating. non-sport yeah. <laughs> background. Oh, that's I guess that's the other role. No judges. But yeah. you know, I can I can give you. I would say that, that I would say that no judges is like a is like an offshoot or like a no defense. If 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 you could play defense, you would play defense. You know, if you can't play defense, you need a for certain sports you need a judge. You know, so it's sort of the same rule, just expanded a little bit. You think the reason that we have judges in figure skating is because I'm not taking my skate to someone's throat in the middle of it. I didn't say you had to kill the guy. <laughs> All right. Sorry. We're back at stabbing. I don't, I don't think your defense is very things. aggressive. I got to tell you, your defense <laughs> is like, all right, first what we're going to do, I have a bow and arrow. I have a serrated knife and I have some poison. So here's what we're going to do. First and 10. <laughs> so football's a sport. Wait. Okay. Yeah, the w the subjective thing makes sense because it's so well that bodybuilding now is not a sport then according to you. And what was weird because we talk about this a lot with uh, Stanimal, he he knew the guy that won first place. Everybody knew that he was going to get first. It didn't feel subjective. It felt like he objectively knew right. why that guy was the best, and they knew before they announced it. So that feels strange to me. That does that really blew my mind also. That that blew a huge hole in this no judging theory. Uh and I wonder if it's like if it's too many years of me as a layman watching all these weird Olympic sports that I watch every once every four years. You know what I mean? And being like, ugh, that girl's dismount was terrible. But it, like I don't know <laughs> what I'm looking at. You know, I <laughs> compared you... to four years ago, it's way better. You know, have you ever done a subjective sport? You've never done a thing where you had to know the intricacies of why one would get more points than the other. No, I don't Wait. think so. Boxing. There are judges in boxing, and it's also only defense. Oh, no. There are judges in boxing. There are judges in MMA. Uh, a, the judges are wildly inconsistent. So I think that's a question of the quality of the judging. That's a sidebar. But B, <sighs> due to the nature of the game, you have to stop it eventually or else people would die. But if you got down to the pure version of that game, boxing, they would just go and then someone would lose eventually. So... The pure form of boxing is the, the, go it, until there is a definitive answer. Right. And and I agree with, I don't, well, first of all, I don't think, I think boxing is pretty, I have like a, I think boxing is also really, really cool and also incredibly dumb. Uh, like, I think it's one of the hardest and also the most uh, tactical, you know, it's super, super cool. But to say like the, the goal of their sport is to give the other guy's brain 
a shake so hard that it hits his skull and he can't stand up. Like, I don't, yeah. I, I, I will be a happy viewer, but non-participant. <laughs> when you say it like that, I'm not even a happy viewer. Yeah, I'm saying to myself, I should not support this with my eyes on it. I know. Ugh, I don't know. Energy. It's just so cool, you know, but it's, it's the goal is to give the guy a concussion, no. to give your opponent a concussion. It feels so primal, but also I feel that way about running. It's the the first thing that we do. I know. It's I know. I mean, theoretically, I, I'm not surprised why like a Turkish getup is not the the coolest, the most popular sport in the world. <laughs> it's the first thing we do. Thing. The first thing we do. <laughs> Just get up, you know. Yeah, lift a thing. Yeah, strongman. That feels very caveman-y stuff. So, so, but but that. Well, that's that's a race you know they're not they're not competing against each other they're competing at the same time and see who's faster or stronger we need a better name i mean it is a non-sport defense defenseless free defenseless race my argument though i mean honestly the argument for the my argument for the race not being a real sport is if we run in a parallel line. Yes. If you just for, for the sake of argument, ignore the mental warfare, <laughs> but if, if you, if we run at the same time, then it's the same thing as I run. And then you run right after who cares. And then what if you space that out? Like, or what if there's 50 competitors, you know? So by between the time when the first guy goes and the last guy goes, call that like an hour or whatever. And then what if, you know, what if it's track and field and like I go and then they need the field for javelin or whatever. And so then, you know, basically between the, when the first guy in our thing goes and the last guy is five hours. And then what if it's a day, you know? And then what if it's a year? You know, and then who who cares? They're completely unrelated. All these things are so stupid, you know, like one. Yeah, yes, there's a world record. And I guess that's what everyone's competing against or rankings or whatever. But to say that, like, you and me show up on the same day and we race each other, that has any sort of difference between my time in the same event as someone in, you know, Russia running the same event and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's it's. It's silly. It's not that they're unrelated, but they just, they look good. It's like how cro those CrossFit events we went to, they didn't have to format them that way. They just looked really good to do it that way. You know, they didn't have to, they, they didn't bench this and then lunge their way to the end. You know, they could have just done walking lunges and like, it wouldn't look as good, but they set it up so that it yeah, visually so for the viewer makes a lot more sense. A couple of things. So every time you go out for a run, you're checking Kipchoge's time to try and beat him. That's what we're all competing against. Yep. Next, uh, your extrapolation there, even from the first guy to a guy an hour later, the weather could be different, the wind, the, the whatever, then so, there no, are fine. different then people I understand in the what you're stands. Saying. There are a lot of it's mini- It's about mini, the environment. There are a lot of in extremely- in Russia, whatever you said- there's a lot of extremely tiny factors that people can nitpick for this. But if we want to get into a nitpick argument, uh, you know, that's fine. We can we can nitpick each other to death. The weather's difference, great. Let's do it indoors. Uh, the air pressure is different in this height. Great. We'll get a giant NASA. Can we borrow a vacuum from NASA to make sure that the uh, air pressure is the same and the humidity is the same? So then the, the air, air pressure is, the is similar then... to the way we decide that the hoop is this size. The air pressure also has to be. Sure. Whatever. If you want to nitpick in that way, which and, and when I've explained this to people, people, I don't know why, but they love, love to think like a tiny little nitpick answer detail is the answer or, or like we'll we'll negate this argument you know it's again if you if you back up if you stop wishing for more wishes here and you just think about the spirit of what i'm saying i think it's pretty in defense you know i think it's pretty solid this theory that i'm sort of presenting that you want a sport to be one person interacting with another person right. So you, right, and who can do the who can do the thing better while stopping the other person from doing their thing? What other sports are there where there's no stopping each other? I mean, any 
like you know look at a million of the olympic sports um any any sort yeah, of a like race sort of any winter sports there's not a winter well hockey i guess you're familiar with hockey yeah i've uh seen it it's fun it's cool <laughs> stanley cup finals right now um you know anything where you you know darts or javelin, you know, however, you, whatever scale you want to do darts on. Whatever size of an impalement you want. Huh. Um, all of Yeah, javelin with defense is really funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How would you do it? Would you have to... Let's see. You'd have to catch it in the air so it doesn't land. Yes, I think that's the best answer. If you catch it catch before it, in it your lands, body. <laughs> it doesn't count. And they can throw it. They have 180 degrees. Right? So the person, you have to be, you can stay wherever you want. Uh, not within, I think you give the thrower about five feet, right? Because we don't want, are you defending the throw or are you defending the catch? I think it'd be way better to defend the catch. So you throw it and then go stop the guy from catching it? No, no, I'm saying the person, the thrower is on offense. The person on defense, I don't think they can be like right up in his face or anything. Oh right, right, right. That's yeah, too, of course. That's too yeah. silly. So you have to give him like give him like a, a bubble of um say like eight eight feet in every and you know you're gonna I mean? want to be far anyway. And so then you can stay wherever you want. So you stand way back wherever you think he's gonna land it, and he gets actually give him forty five degrees. He has to throw it so it lands within a forty five yeah, degree. That's a lot of running thing. for the defense. Right? And so he can be like. I'm going right. I'm going right. And then throw it left. And then you have to make all the way across to make the catch. And you have to catch it in the air. It cannot. Um, you you What you do is you can you just paint, knock it if it yeah, doesn't let you stick in. You paint that... the point. So um, like the bottom third or the bottom um, point of the javelin, you, you paint it so that that part cannot stick into the ground. Right. Right, if it doesn't the, stay the javelin up. can touch the ground, obviously, because you could just whack it. If you catch it on the paint, automatic win. Right, or you, or you know, whatever point system it is, you get a ton of points. <laughs> <laughs> you get to you may, stab the other guy. Is it Wait, worth what? losing your hand? Maybe, maybe not. How many points? Or you know, what would be great is actually if you catch the end of it. That's a lot of points too. If you catch the top of it without the the yeah. tip going into the ground how long is a javelin also their throws are so long and then think about the radius or no the circumference of that the area that you would have to cover yeah slice yeah i feel like we made up a great new game we'll I try it with like darts and see how it goes a lot of people are that going works, to die <laughs> We'll start with darts. We'll try it at the bar. And if that works really well, then we'll graduate. We'll expand it to javelin. And then shot put. Oh, my God. <laughs> shot put. Wow. Okay. So that, yeah. But the worst kind of sports are the ones that are like, oh, well, it was in my head today. And and that guy, like, just broke up with his girlfriend and... And this and that and and all the little subjective things that really don't show the height of human achievement. It's just a psychological game. That's what you're into? What do you mean a psychological game? It's just how much you can mess with a person. Like when we talked about with Kim and doing the track bike racing it's not who's the best track bike racer who's the fastest who's the height of human achievement on a bike it's who can mess with the other person and not take off but work really hard but convince them that they're tired but then it's strategically yes. you love strategy well, and i think i, I would rather that. just know who's the strongest guy doing a snatch after running 400 meters i know because you're a a wish for more wishes person you don't want to get into the weeds you don't want to think about it you just want, oh what's the answer you That's don't it. want to I, I will say get an advantage stop. over someone fitter than you by using your brain that's exactly what i want to do i know yeah i think that's <laughs> way cooler well because so then, like, chess 
You just want to play chess. Chess boxing? Yeah, it sounds great. I will say that uh, the one race I keep I keep ripping on races. Uh, if if we're if if it's one of those races where like everyone gets into the pack, you know, Tour de France or oh, yeah. one of those distance ones where you can sort of jostle and that counts. That that is that counts. So track mind. racing would yeah. Distance track racing. Speed skating. Speed skating, big time. Speed skating is crazy because was it you who told me about it or somebody else? But they were like, you really don't go until like almost the end. Like they're all sort of just did and then somehow but someone's like, mind I'm going. and then they freak out. And then a lot of times the first person who takes off ends up losing because he either runs out of steam or somebody trips him or, you know what I mean? It's a total mess. The uh, fittest, the best, the fastest skater is not the winner. It's crazy. It's the person who screws with everyone's minds best. The mind So screwing. survivor is a sport. I'm telling you about <laughs> the challenge. I was telling you about the, yeah, challenge, the challenge last episode. Uh, it's it's sim- that's a tough one because that goes uh that that that's so long and there's so many weird different events and you know theoretically they come up with new events every year and you don't really know what you're gonna do and that gets a little uh, a little muddy you know because they don't have all right this year we do this this and this and those are our three events you know what what is what defines survivor you know you're on an island you live together and then cbs network comes up with a bunch of weird stuff you can do like that's that's a tough one to sell i would say (laughs) it's like (laughs) this is tough one to like standardize you know sure like at least yes basketball has the athlete has changed a ton the strategies have changed a ton but it's a similar size court you know the goal is pretty similar huh all right, I think we leave it to the fit heads to decide. The big one, the one, the real one, the real noodle cooker is noodle horse cooker. racing. Because <laughs> we're involving a different living being. Well, I would argue that you're involving something that is has more of an effect than the human being, like like NASCAR, same thing. But uh, also, that's actual a race. They use the word race in horse racing. Yep. And obviously there's there's a couple of different kinds, right? There's 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 straight and then there's the ones where they're in the pack and then they're they are jostling, like I was saying. But the one um, where they don't interact. There's I think there's a couple of different kinds. I, I the other one that people love to say is uh okay, well what about NASCAR? And then and then they say horse racing, but typically it's really yeah. well, what about NASCAR? NASCAR is a mental game, right? Yeah. No, it's just in, going. You're, you're in just the going. Path. Okay, so then there's a strategy to it. I would also say that I would argue it's more of a sport for the cars than <laughs> the cars than for the people. Huh. Like swimming, that's some- a good one too because that's a race and all people always point to swimming. And I, I've told you this too, right? I don't like swimming because I don't understand why there's strokes. No knives. Oh, yes. No Different knives. Strokes. Right. No missiles. <laughs> yeah. Well, because, right. I love that argument. You're like, well, I don't wrestle with a d- different you know, stroke. Like, and I mean, there's no, like, then I could have skipping. a million. There's no, you know, like, there's no backwards, run- there's side shuffle runs. You know, at some point, I'm like, my shuffle runs. I yeah. mean, there's probably a world record for that. There's definitely a world record, but it's a race. Like, hey, I'll, yeah. I'll we're here. I'll go there. See who gets there first. That's you know whoever can like, do it. The, yeah, whatever you're. Not like uh, cartwheel there first. There. <laughs> How weird are we getting? You know, you can run, but you can't breathe, or. <laughs> Uh, Robbie Bent wins. Those um, was that the other ship guy? What was it called? Yeah, that guy. I feel like he can hold his breath forever. What is it called when you um? We used to call it grapevine when you're running 
right, side left, to side left, and left, your, your, your feet yeah. switch, your hips switch to put one leg, one foot in front of the other running sideways. You know, why yeah, is there no I mean, Olympic we could just expand. Sorry, I just thought of uh, curling. Then that would be a sport. Just standing around and you have beers after. Curling? The one with the brushes? Yeah. Yeah. That was tough. I'm trying to think, are there now, now that we define something where it you would consider it a sport and other people wouldn't? Right. Chess is a big one. It's just not very physical. Black Friday shopping? Oh, those... Um... Those wedding dress, Filene's basement shopping, or uh, you know what I'm talking about? They used to have these incredible sales for wedding dresses. I'd see them on TV, and uh, they'd open the doors, and all these women would just like sprint into a department store and basically sounds like a sport to me. They would fist fight at you know. Well, there's no rules in this sport. This is just life (laughs) and death. Air pressure. And they would get these apparently like unbelievable deals on wedding dresses but you know it's like it's like a department store and everyone's just sprinting around trying to find the size they want and the the trim they want and the the number of dresses they need absolutely insane trying to think if there's something like music there's no defense in in music competitions (laughs) Yeah, cheerleading competitions. That's a tough one because it's incredibly hard. So physical. So it's not a race. Be, like, coordinated. But yeah, it's it's not a race. It's subjective. It, yeah, right. It is judged. Um, yeah. Sport bowling. has to have psychologically affecting. It, tell me that you're not psychologically affecting someone at the starting line of a 100 meter dash. Uh, I, I agree. However, why doesn't the guy you saw growing up on TV doing that psychologically affect you in the same way? Just that's just you. That's just your psyche. Guy growing up, what what? Like if I saw like if I line up to hundred meter dash against someone else, all the people next to me are psychologically affecting me, right? So why shouldn't when watching Usain Bolt do it when I was like, you know, in early two thousands, that should psychologically affect me too. There was, are you saying that watching wrestling as a kid psychologically affected you? It, it all can. So who cares if this guy's doing it now or that guy did it on TV 10 years ago, they're all psychologically affecting you. So maybe you just need to toughen up a little bit, but okay. So then don't be psychologically affected during a wrestling match either toughen up i'm not i'm competing against someone who's trying to beat me up (laughs) or i am but i'm not using that as an excuse for it it affecting my performance because it feels more definitive because they can make physical contact with you yeah well they're actually doing something on purpose to physically mess me up yeah And I feel like something at the starting line could be on purpose to physically right. Like if, I, if I if we start if we line up next to each other and I just like shit my pants right there, you know what I mean? And then you're like, <laughs> I better go. I better beat him. I can't be behind him. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitheads. Should we divide sports into sports and? judged subjective garbage and <laughs> defenseless <Difficult> races <laughs> difficult defenseless in the comments i wish there's another d word there difficult defenseless dicking around it doesn't have to be uh, difficult but it has to be non-defensive well, that's the other thing is that when people say when when I say it's not a sport, they're like, "Dude, it's so hard." I'm like, "Yeah, dude, it's really hard, but it's not." Oh, I never even brought that up. I wasn't. <laughs> How dare you speak of the hundred meter dash in that way? Yeah. Yes, by the way, it's really hard. It's incredibly hard. All these things are hard. Crew is hard. That was the first thing we started talking about. It's, oh, it's right. one of the hardest. Crew. Crew is not a sport. Not. I mean, it's. Where's the creativity? What's your what's your move in in crew? I'm gonna go. Uh, now that's a new element. It has I'm to have creativity. Faster. 
creativity is not a requirement, but it, I think it's what I value the most. And I think that's probably where this idea sort of sprung from, sprouted from. Yes. You want the mental advantage. I want a mental gameplay. Yeah. So, war is a sport. <laughs> what are the rules? Murder better than the other side. Murder better. <laughs> what are the teams? <laughs> <laughs> Who's picking US first? US versus everyone. <laughs> Shotgun uh, UN. Uh, wait a minute. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you can rate and review on Apple Podcast, that helps us out a whole lot. I'm serious. We need we need to sound off in the comments. Is Max Max's argument sound? Let us know. And we will see you next week. <laughs>